Hi guys, uh, so this is follow up video after my uh, tear down. So I would like to look into some aspects of this uh, Google Home Mini and some unknowns and also there were some um, viewers questions about um, the sound. So first of all, probably the most and uh, asked and biggest question is, can you connect external uh, cable or external speaker to um, Google Home Mini? Obviously you can, and people did that. If you look into YouTube, uh, search in YouTube, you can find. But what most people did that actually use this um, speaker output, use a resistive voltage, voltage divider and actually connect it to whatever, to little jack and just connect it to whatever you want uh, externally. But there is one the big big issue which actually uh, makes all this endeavor questionable so this thing has mono amplifier so it outputs mono sound so what's the point actually to whip up something and then listen to uh, mono sound I don't know but this Texas instrument amplifier is mono amplifier so not much you can get out of it it physically mm, uh, processes monophonic signal there is no stereo anywhere and it has digital inputs so question is if this processor actually processes stereo and uh, this uh, uh, Texas instrument amplifier just <laughs> use half of the data and uh, and uh, drives the speaker or it all, all, all outputs mono I think it outputs mono why would you do extra work and use extra power but you never know I don't have enough um, um, tools to actually figure out what's uh, getting into this amplifier maybe in the future if I would have some sort of digital analyzer and things like that I would do that but right now with my uh, analog scope I, I won't see much um, in especially in digital world so uh, one of the other interesting questions was if you can physically shut off the microphone so on this board over here we have the microphone switch so it turns on and off microphone so I did some uh, poking around and I figured out that no it does not um, disconnect physically microphones it sends signal uh, it sets the level on the, one of the microcontroller pins which probably just stop using the microphones so technically uh, if someone would hug this thing, would, this thing, it can listen whatever we say. Um, yeah. So, for example, uh, on this on this little switch, we have uh, high, and when you switch it to microphone off, it sets this level. Um, probably it's a high impedance pin to low. So it's uh, when you want to switch microphone, it sets it to low. Uh, on a, some my, a microcontroller pin. I couldn't trace it because this is multi-layer uh, board and obviously it's really or pretty pretty much impossible to trace anything unless uh, I mean I just poke around and hope I see some kind of signal um, but this is what I uh, figured out so far. There is also interesting unpopulated area over here and this uh, on uh, I guess this is top side of the board beside the uh, Marvel Bluetooth Wi-Fi chip and uh, there is uh, some unknown chip over here I don't know what it is I need to I couldn't find anything maybe I'll have to look better but there is a whole bunch of unpopulated uh, components one chip microchip and bunch of passives around it so we don't know what's going on here and there is also this guy which says I think VF uh, 17 or something to this extent I couldn't find what it is and also has had has uh, one unpopulated component around it so it's an um, interesting question what's going on here uh, was also want also to bring to attention the how microphones um, populated so they are uh, on this side of the board on the bottom side but they have little holes which actually for the sound to get through and um, the, the little holes come through the PCB and this rubber gasket is actually supposed to guide sound to this little microphone openings that's pretty cool and interesting to see such a design that microphones actually um, have um, opening through the PCB interesting why it's probably for the better manufacturing 
Uh, I don't know. Have also two antennas. That's one of the other no noticing fact. And but this chip uh, has only one Wi-Fi channel. So I guess it's just switching which antenna is better, or uh, which one has better reception. Because over here there is a antenna switching circuit. Um, I think this is it for for me for uh, Google Home Mini. Oh, one more thing. I wanted to uh, figure out if I have access to uh, serial or console access to this Marvel SOC, but I couldn't get any data on this chip, essentially on a chip pinout and configuration. Uh, so po I mean, I wouldn't be able to poke around and figure out if there is a console or not, but it would be really nice to get some info and see which, which one is the dedicated serial if such a thing exists so if you have any info on Marvel SOC uh, like which is Google Home Mini will be yeah, great to know so please share um, yeah th this is probably the the most poking around I done with Google Home Mini and I just probably gonna put it back together and see if it works after me poking and try to rip it apart so let's put it back together Okay, we put it all back together, so let's power it up and see how it works, and if it works. There's some lights going on here. Hey Google! By the way, the mic's off. To turn it back on, slide the switch on the back of Google Home. The mic's back on. Hey Google, are you alive? On a scale of Wally to HAL 9000, I'm more of an R2-D2. That's smart. Anyways, guys, so here we are. Um, I put back Google Home Mini back together pretty quickly and it is uh, fully operational, I think. Um, so thank you for being with me, thank you for watching my videos and uh, if you like my videos and you, you want to see more, please subscribe. Thank you, see you next time.